where we project the version, the best version that is, you know, acceptable. Yeah. I'm not saying that's right. But we grow up with a distorted sense of self. We grow up with a lot of distortions. And uh, we believe that if we project our best self, if we, you know, uh, future fake things, we might, you know, uh, bag in some love and affection. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves. So today I'm going to talk about uh, the reason why adult children of narcissistic parents, you know, engage in future faking. And before I get going, I would request you all to like, share, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell. So you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content. So narcissistic parents uh, are, you know, those individuals who have extreme sense of entitlement, who have inability to self-reflect, who are extremely self-centered, who lack empathy, and they are basically ruthless individuals. It's all about them. That's it. The world can go for a flying F. That's none of their concern. All what they're concerned about is what they are getting out of you. And this is the reason why narcissists choose to get married and, you know, choose parenting. Because they want, you know, uh, that uh, validation. They want that uh, appreciation. They want that feedback. They want gain profit out of the relationship relationship for narcissistic individual is very conditional yeah if you don't do things their way they are going to confiscate all that love and affection um, relationship for narcissistic parent is very instrumental yeah so till the time you are able to do things for them it's fine they'll throw a tiny bit of crumbs at you but the moment they see that you are unable to give them they are going to, you know, simply make you feel invisible. They are going to scapegoat you. They are going to make you feel as if you are not needed. You are worthless, yeah? So narcissistic parents are not like healthy parents who, you know, foster healthy, you know, communication and healthy relationship, who believe in nurturing the kid. Um, all of those things don't exist, uh, you know, when we look at narcissistic parents. Yeah, narcissistic parents breed because they want slaves and servants who don't question them in return who don't disobey them who have the same genetic makeup yeah so narcissistic parents are damaging i personally believe that narcissistic parents are more damaging than narcissistic spouse because they distort your reality they erode your self-esteem self-worth confidence and you are just confused you are in that uh, you know state of doubt all the time you doubt your own self you doubt your feeling you doubt the others you doubt the entire world so you know i mean i have my own reasons because i was also raised by narcissistic parents and i did have uh, you know a relationship with a narcissist as well so you know i can compare and let me tell you narcissistic parents are more damaging they take away the tools from you the tools that can help you aid you to navigate this world narcissistic parents manipulate you and gaslight you to keep serving them yeah to keep you on hook so that you are in service of them that's all now you know when you spend you know uh, a lot of time with narcissistic parents um you tend to believe that all of the abusive stuff that they are doing with you is normal and that's what exists in every relationship and as a result of which you know we keep attracting toxic individuals antagonistic individuals and narcissistic individuals and sometimes we keep wondering why the hell am i attracting all bad people why the hell am i attracting all toxic individual and it is because you know uh, our sense of self is blurred our you know reality is blurred we really cannot differentiate you know from good and bad yeah to us, you know, every bad thing looks good because it existed uh, in our family. Yeah, so it's okay for us. Yeah, we were trained and we were gaslit, uh, you know, into giving second chances. We were, you know, conditioned and gaslit to, you know, keep proving ourselves to a narcissistic parent and that's how we operate in our other narcissistic relationships. We, you know, keep burning ourselves out, you know, to prove. Yeah, that I'm worthy of this relationship. I am worthy of your love and affection. Yeah, so, you know, it's it's a great deal of distortion. 
that happens in the childhood when we are raised by narcissistic parents and as a result of which we keep attracting narcissistic individuals now coming back uh, you know to the topic um, what are the reasons you know that makes these adult children of narcissistic parents you know engage in future faking um, I'm sure you guys must have, you know, seen and observed that uh, a lot of these kids who are raised by narcissistic parents, um, they engage into, you know, future faking. And uh, that is a kind of a survival mechanism for these individuals, adult children. And uh, this is basically to get some empathy. This is basically to seek some love, affection and, you know, a sense of belonging that's it yeah that's what you know uh, they learned in the childhood shape shifting and the next stage you know is uh, future faking yeah so what are the reasons as to why you know kids of narcissistic parents or adult children of narcissistic parents engage in future faking the first reason is invalidation of authenticity so every time when we try and be ourselves we were shamed we were invalidated and as a result of which we, you know, uh, put in more effort to be the version that was acceptable. Yeah, we had this uh, eroded sense of self. We, you know, had this uh, eroded level of confidence and self-worth. So as a result of, uh, you know, constantly being invalidated, dismissed and minimized, we, you know, learn that we need to be the version that can get us that love and affection. Yeah, the version that can, you know, uh, be validated, the version that can get my parents love and affection. So when we are raised in narcissistic families, uh, we learn that we need to be the version that they approve of narcissistic parents approve of we need to be the version that they approve of only then we can get that love and affection yeah so as a result of which we get into this shape-shifting business yeah. and also you know somewhere or the other we want to get over that shape-shifting business somewhere or the other an inner voice you know keeps telling us why do i have to be a certain way to be loved and to get all that affection and you know uh, to experience empathy why do i need to be a certain way that voice is there inside of all of us but we choose to just numb it and mute it and that's it yeah so as a result of all that shape shifting all that invalidation we then get into you know this future faking also we start projecting the things that can get us some empathy love and affection we start projecting things that is you know very much valid and that can easily get approval yeah so you know we we learn all of that you know by constantly you know shape shifting we are constantly invalidated our authenticity is never you know encouraged or entertained we are invalidated our authenticity is invalidated and as a result of which we learn that uh, it's better to be the version that serves them yeah, then I'm going to get the love and affection. And as a result of which, we also, you know, get into this future faking business, yeah, where we project the version, the best version that is, you know, acceptable, yeah. I'm not saying that's right, but we grow up with a distorted sense of self. We grow up with a lot of distortions. And uh, we believe that if we project our best self, if we, you know, uh, future fake things we might you know uh, bag in some love and affection yeah we might experience empathy of the others so you know as a result of which we you know you can say um, unknowingly engage in future faking because uh, um, that uh, is a kind of a survival mechanism for ourselves yeah so you know we tend to you know uh, future fake things oh i'm going to do this i'm going to get you this i'm going to get into this and uh, let me tell you we shouldn't blame the kids the adult children of narcissistic parents you know for their you know future faking abilities it's a kind of a survival mechanism that they have you know developed yeah to survive and you know 
be a little stable and okay in their own way yeah the you know person that uh, needs to be blamed is the narcissistic parent who had been constantly invalidating their kids authenticity who had been constantly chipping and eroding away all you know their kids uh, self worth and self esteem yeah so you know the person to be blamed is the narcissistic parent and not these adult children they are simply you know dysfunctional individuals walking in adult body that's it yeah emotionally immature individuals who are walking in adult body and uh, they do all of these things basically to cope and to survive yeah and as a result of all that manipulation invalidation minimization they get into this uh, future faking because they think that if i lie if i tell them that i'm going to become this i'm going to become that i'm going to do this i'm going to do that this person might love me yeah because uh, i i got some amount of love and affection from my narcissistic parents by future faking so let me you know use the same you know uh, method on to the others but uh, not everyone is a narcissist yeah uh, people are you know on uh, different levels of emotional maturity so you know some of us can see through some of us can understand and uh, of course the adult children are to be blamed for what they are doing or for what they are you know projecting and you know showing others but uh, you know the majority of the blame you know uh, should be reserved for the narcissistic parents and not these adult children of narcissistic individuals the next reason why adult children of narcissistic parents get into future faking is uh, because they grew up in an environment where there was no unconditional love it was all about you know conditional love so they had to be a certain way only then they were loved only then they were validated only then you know they could experience uh, affection yeah so you know this conditional love also grooms these individuals adult children of narcissistic parents to get into this future faking they always had to be you know a version you know that could get them love and affection if they tried being themselves they were invalidated so they got that message yeah that uh, me being myself is not good me being myself is not right if i be the way you know my narcissistic parents approve of then i will get that love and affection so this conditional love you know in a way you can say trains these children adult children of narcissistic parents to get into this shape shifting business and get into future faking so they will you know uh, become the version you want them to be yeah and this is basically to get that love and affection yeah they uh, did not reach maturity because their growth was stunted because of that constant manipulation gaslighting a triangulation passive aggressive behavior silent treatment what do you think all of that does that simply stunts your growth and you know that's what happens with these adult children of narcissistic parents you know who spend a great deal of time with uh, their narcissistic parent i mean i also had problems i also you know used to see the world in a very different way and now you know when i have healed i have overcome i am helping others now the way how i look at things has changed drastically yeah but uh, the initial phase when i was coming out trying to be myself and you know uh, trying to you know collect all of those broken bits together it was a little difficult i was also into you know uh, shape shifting and i was also into you know future faking because i thought uh, that's how i can get validation that's how i can get approval that's how i can get uh, love affection empathy so you know uh, but now i don't get into all of that because uh, i always value authenticity if i am authentic if i am being myself okay maybe hundreds of people might not like me but there will be five or six people who might like my authenticity so i always prioritize my authenticity over you know 
any uh, other version yeah i have embraced my authenticity and i always you know try and be authentic i simply don't want to you know fit in or be into the mold that has been created by the others yeah i mean all those social norm and culture and all of that i really don't want to get into all of that i respect everyone's own you know uniqueness and individuality and i expect the same in return yeah so yes this conditional love also you know uh, grooms adult children of narcissistic parents to get into shape shifting as well as get into future faking the next reason why adult children of narcissistic parents uh, engage in future faking is because of constant gaslighting so you know every kid in a narcissistic household experiences gaslighting and that's how they are groomed and that's how they are kept on hook for long narcissistic parents really don't want you to discover your true self know your strength and weakness and go out there and you know enjoy your life and become independent they bred you for a purpose and reason and they want you to be on hook and how do they do that they are going to do that by gaslighting yeah they are going to keep gaslighting you keep uh, you know making you second guess and question your own sanity your own self they are going to you know make you doubt your own feelings your own action and they are going to you know uh, put you into that doubtful state where you doubt the others as well Yeah. so when we are constantly in that state of confusion because of that gaslighting we engage into this survival strategy that is future faking yeah by predicting a version that might get love and affection that might get validated yeah so it's a kind of a survival strategy uh that we engage in when we are raised by narcissistic parents and that is future faking so we are being constantly gaslit or oh, you cannot do anything right you can never do things you know the right way you are over sensitive you are overacting you are making it up it's all in your mind we know you know what gaslighting feels like so as a result of which you know we get into this uh, future faking that uh, i'll get rid of all the bad things that they are telling me and i'll become a better version yeah i will do everything right i'm going to achieve this i'm going to achieve that yeah that is basically to you know uh, combat that is basically to you know survive yeah so you know because of constant gaslighting you know we you know uh, engage into future faking yeah because we believe that future faking is like a survival strategy yeah and that can help us get some validation maybe i can project a version which is flawless and that can you know uh, get me some amount of love affection and validation and why am i trying to do that because i have been you know uh, constantly gaslit i was unable to do anything right as per them yeah so you know as a result of which we engage into you know future faking the next reason why adult children of narcissistic parents engage in future faking is you know this constant um, comparison and competition sibling rivalry is quite common in narcissistic homes parents are going to you know uh, create sibling rivalry so that uh, none of the siblings are you know bonded in healthy ways and uh, there is a kind of a atmosphere of competition yeah so everyone is competing with each other everyone sees each other as a competition and the narcissistic parent uh, you know gets to do whatever they want narcissistic parents you know um follow or practice this uh, method divide and rule yeah so they don't want the siblings to be happy bonded together no they you know divide them they you know create sibling rivalries and that's how they you know are able to exert better control over their kids i mean the slaves that they have created to serve themselves so you know because of this uh, atmosphere at home you know constant comparisons sibling rivalry narcissistic parents comparing their kids with the others oh look at their son he's so successful oh look at uh, you know his daughter you know she's so obedient so you know because of this constant uh, competition sibling rivalry and this comparison you know we often you know 
uh, resort to future faking yeah so let me project uh, a version that is going to you know get me some amount of validation let me you know future fake things so that i am loved i am also respected i am also you know treated you know like the others yeah so you know kids resort to all of these things basically to you know get some amount of love and affection and validation whether it is shape shifting or future faking yeah so because of this uh, environment of constant uh, you know um, competition and comparison kids you know uh, get into i mean adult children of narcissistic parents get into this future faking and it starts from childhood yeah i mean uh, kids uh, who are raised by narcissistic parents uh, they also you know get into future faking and then uh, you know when they you know grow old they you know get into this uh, future faking even more yeah so it starts from childhood but yes i mean like uh, you can see a uh, full extent of future faking when they are adult and grown up the next reason why adult children of narcissistic parents engage in future faking is because of uh, you know uh, emotional blackmail in narcissistic families narcissistic parents are victim into emotionally manipulating their children guilt tripping their children shaming their children uh, giving threats to their children they do all sorts of you know emotionally abusive things to their children and as a result of which you know the kids learn yeah that uh, i need to be a version they approve of in order to avoid all of this yeah all of that emotional manipulation shaming guilt tripping and all of that so you know the kid uh, you know learns that uh, shape shifting is the only way forward if i have to survive if i have to you know uh, move ahead i need to shape shift and as a result of which you know they get into this future faking it's it's almost like a defense mechanism you know in order to avoid all of that emotional manipulation they get into future faking don't oh. worry i'm going to do this this way don't worry i'm going to achieve this don't worry i'm going to get this yeah so they use future faking to avoid all of that emotional manipulation they don't want to be guilt tripped they don't want to be shamed they don't want to, you know uh, uh, to be treated with threats yeah withholding love and affection you know kids don't want that and in order to avoid all of that they use future faking as a defense mechanism i'm going to do it don't worry i'm going to score good don't worry i'm going to get a good job don't worry i'm going to you know make a lot of money yeah so it helps them yeah it's it's like a defense mechanism that helps them feel protected they are able to protect themselves and the last reason why adult children of narcissistic parents engage into shape shifting and future faking is you know the lack of emotional support so narcissistic parents are emotionally absent in the relationship yeah narcissistic individuals are all about themselves extreme sense of entitlement self centeredness selfish it's all about them lack of empathy so a narcissistic parent is unable to you know uh, support their kids with uh, you know uh, empathy or any kind of emotional support yeah Uh, they are unable to give that because they don't have it on the inside yeah so you know as a result of which uh, kids get into you know future faking as a result of which kids get into shape shifting and this is basically to get that love and affection and empathy and attention and emotional support which they were unable to get from their parent yeah though kids try a lot of things you know to please their parent but uh, as how they grow older you know somewhere or the other they feel that uh, their parents might not give them what they are looking for yeah so as a result of which uh, they get into shape shifting and future faking so that i can get some emotional support from my friend maybe i can get some emotional support from my lover my partner my wife yeah so yes because of this uh, lack of emotional support adult children of narcissistic parents you know get into future faking and you know shape shifting yeah and they do this because uh, they did not get that emotional support from their parent which they 
you know were supposed to they did not get it so you know how do they get it from the others and that is by future faking and shape shifting yeah it's it's almost like a small little child begging for attention so these adult children of narcissistic parents are you know nothing more than you know small little children in adult body begging for attention you know requesting to be treated right wanting all that attention empathy love affection emotional support yeah so these are adults who crave all of that these are the adults who did not get all of that from the parent yeah and as a result of which they got into this shape shifting thing they got into future faking to get all of those stuff which they did not get from their parents yeah so this was it in case if you would like to add in something you can always comment below till then take care of yourself don't ignore the red flags and please don't you know blame you know adult children of narcissistic parents uh, you know 100 percent blame them 50 percent and 50 percent of the blame you know should be reserved for the narcissistic parents yeah it's the narcissistic parents who groom condition and you know uh, raise their kids in such dysfunctional ways yeah so you know uh, they are to be blamed and not these individuals you can blame them for some bit but for majority is the narcissistic parents who are to be blamed yeah so till then take care of yourself lots of love and blessings to all of you bye